Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope y'all are doing well on this Friday night here. We are going to start out with some good old hollow chamber here. And I have Mr. Ben. I have Mr. Roderick. Mr. Psycho19. And me, I'm Josh. Or Renderman. Sometimes Jim Blue if it's on Xbox. <laughs> but we're having a good night. We're ready to play some Solar Purge. We've got a new update out. 0.5.3. Woohoo. It's been a while since. When's the last time we streamed, guys? February? That wasn't on Twitch, though. That was somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Long time no see, Twitch. Well, we're going to start out with some hollow chamber here. Go over here to hollow chamber. We're going to click continue. Woohoo. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Well, we got the Juggernaut here a little bit leveled up. Thank you for that, Roderick. If y'all have any issues with audio in a stream or whatnot, let me know. I don't think we're going to start off with any of these uh, any of these function here. Maybe we'll use that here in a little bit. But we've got some new... Got some new weapons here. We've got some Olarune. We've got some uh, power weapons, and we've got some SMGs here. We're going to see if we can do some damage with the Juggernaut. All right, so let's start this hollow chamber up. Woo! Shredding enemies. Get out of my space. We've got these nice new energy weapons from Olarun. They're doing some damage. They are rare. This one has extra damage on it. So we actually put out something onto Steam. And uh, actually it was on... Maybe it was on Discord Twitter. We had a, a post about the new weapons manufacturer, Olarun. Some of the things that they provide on the battlefield. Very good against uh, bugs. Bugs and beasts. And that is definitely useful for this level. That's an alien. We've got some other things on here that are bugs and beasts. Whoa! You know, I'm going to have to use my shield here soon. <laughs> yeah. Set up for bugs and beasts, and there's nothing but bots on here. That's okay. Shoot that barrel. All the barrels go. What does that have on it? It has... Actually, that's not as nearly as good as this. I like the sound of the Elrun weapons. See if I can zoom in, you might be able to see some of the detail on it. Actually, this is the one that's on uh, on the cover uh, for the Elrun. A little blurb there about the... Weapon manufacturer. Oh, that's tempting, though. Oh my gosh, it's getting purples left and right. Let's use the shield here. <laughs> Already getting purples. We did we did skip a little bit forward in the hollow chamber here. So we kind of show off a little bit later. Later in the game. Roderick, how long does it take you to get to where we're at? About level 18. About 30 minutes. Hardcore gaming. Die. Mm. 
There we go. Oh, they can only hear me? Okay. Yeah, it may be an input setting. I remember we had, I remember we were having audio issues last time. I, I, I think Brooke and Nico is saying hi to Aaron. <laughs> We got uh, the audio working last time. There's, there's, it's, it's always a checkbox. I'll be able to fit around with that in a minute. Yeah, maybe after I finish this run. So we've got other people in the call, but they are not being heard. Dropped items collected. Three out of 12. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes it is. You remember math. Five out of four uh, people can't do math. Five out of four doctors recommend this toothpaste. How you doing, Dragon God? Good to see you. Oh, there's like blood that's on the fan. <laughs> so much blood. Robots don't have blood, do they? Do robots bleed? I sh <laughs> well, you know what? To be fair, I think the blood color for Juggernaut, if I die, is probably black, so it looks like oil. Maybe it's supposed to be like iridescent. Convincing him to do unspeakable things. <laughs> yeah, Ben, I really like the sound of the S Olorun SMG. It's just shredding through everything. Yeah, although, see, if I stand right here, though. Yeah, see, there goes my shield. Here's one of the cool things about... Uh, the new and improved um, over uh, the overcharge skill. Let me do this without dying. Yeah, I think it's overcharge. I have to get hit first. There we go. The shield comes back a lot faster, so you can kind of get in the middle of it, beat some things up, do that extra bonus melee damage. And we don't have to worry about it. We're a tank. We can take the damage. Punch him in the face. Three, two, one. Defeat the boss. All right, here's a true testament. See if uh, this this strat is gonna work here. Plasma shield. I don't have that one equipped, but hmm. You know, what? we're just we're just gonna go with this. We're just going to go with this. I'm going to pop that like right here. And we're going to use this one. Oh, look at the go. Boom. Oh my god, that rocket launcher does so much damage. No, don't die. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to die. Whoa. Here come the missiles. Ow. All right. This fight's over. Goodbye. Boom. Oh, man. I like those lasers. <laughs> Lasered. Juggernaut for the win. Oh, man. There's a bow. All right. I can't pronounce this very well. Ben can do it like that on cue. <laughs> but I can't hear you right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> I, didn't... I, I already screwed up. He said what it was, and I already screwed up. Abdo Kalashnikov. Kova? Abdo Kalashnikov. Abdo Assault Rifle. <laughs> 
from our good friends at uh, Chatka. And this has double exterminator and bulwark. Man, if this were on Titus, that would be a nasty, yeah. Uh, that'd be a nasty, yeah. <laughs> what is my uh, Apex? Olderune Apex rocket launcher have extra damage. Okay. No wonder I was hitting him so hard. Oh my god. Yeah, juice and fries. Fully loaded. Well, I don't know if I need any of these things here. How much money do I have? I have a lot of money. I have a hundred thousand. Over a hundred thousand. What's this buy skill points? What's buy skill points? What else can we max out here? We've got our defense matrix and our energy drain. You know what? I'm going to, uh, eh, we got money to spend. We got money to spend. There we go. Ah, what the heck? We'll do it one more time. Oh, you know what? There. <laughs> when you go, when you go out and you realize you don't have enough money in the, in the account. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to equip this. I'm going to put it there. And uh, this is literally going to suck their life away. It's going to take that life and it's going to give it to me like a vampire. This skill sucks. Their health. <laughs> <laughs> yes, vacuums do suck. This vacuum totally sucks. Good. Then it's doing what it's supposed to do. Ben, I'm glad that shield's fixed. This is much nicer. <laughs> you should be able to not shoot out of it. Uh, there's a collector mission. Maybe we'll do that one. Whoa! Let me get out of here. And by the way, we are on the Caldera Hollow Chamber on hard mode. Kind of show them off some different difficulties tonight. Oh man, what is what is that? Extended mag and full. Oh, I'm sorry, Otto Kalashnikov. You did you, you you were you were a good friend for about like three minutes, and then I I found somebody else. This relationship has now ended. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That's so cool. Boom, 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 boom. Is the game audio coming through, chat? I sure hope so. It was working fine when we tested it the other day, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> It's not coming through. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. I see Streamlabs doing things in the background. Let me let me try this real quick. The screen may freak out a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever you're doing out there, do it in here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there we go. So that should be... The devs are talking. Uh, how about now? Can you all hear it now? Is that coming I heard through? myself. You heard yourself? Okay. Uh, OBS. <laughs> yeah, but it now, was now we've got it working. Green. You got it? Okay. Who Who knows? Where the Who thoughts knows? that exist inside Josh's head. And I, I just clicked the refresh button and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, whatever works. Yeah, whatever works. And, uh, yeah, I'm We're just glad. Free. Now I can point out that when you didn't stress, you got the pronunciation of all the police about, uh, perfect. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> it was only because you were stressed out about it. You know, yeah, when I have to, uh, you gotta be on on the ball. That's my motto. Don't think. Don't think. Don't Just think. Do only it. do. Don't think. Only do. Let's let's not go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think. Just do. 
only chat kill weapons. You don't have to think when you fire. Just fire. I am the machine! I am the machine! I am the machine gun! <laughs> oh. <laughs> New secret boss confirmed. Yeah. It's not a full-on character. It's literally just a, a model of an LMG that's floating. Right. <laughs> Whoa! No, 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 no. Cannot pass through the fireballs. Yeah, I'm they really are weak. excited we got that level three shield fix. They are weak. It, I think there's a little looks bit good. of splash damage. Looks good. Yeah. Works good. Oh. Not good. Not good. Not good. Well, I just got finished talking about how good it was. Don't, <laughs> don't make a liar out of me. <laughs> no, because it ended. <laughs> Well, fair enough. The, the, the skill ended, so it was good, and then uh, no good, oh, it's gone. I'm not crazy. Wow, anymore. you're doing great. And then I appreciate that. Right, guy. I'm not crazy, but the shotgun is crazy good. Crazy good. <laughs> Ooh, hey, there's a. That is a. Um, Wolf, yeah. Purple sniper with double, double alien power. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh Goblins, God. watch out. <laughs> oh my god. Increases damage when standing still. Sure. I might as well. Come at me, alien bros. Come at me, alien bro. Oh, well. <laughs> bullets only work if. Oh, there we go. The go bullets only work if they there hit the go. enemy. <laughs> you only need one. Was... Look, it's 2010. <laughs> Here we make contact? Or another, another 2010? <laughs> I don't know if that... Uh, yeah, the, your the average stupid lo the stupid lobby. is not going to get yeah. that reference. Okay. They might. Uh, I don't know. I, it depends on whether you played Modern Warfare 2 or not in 2009-2010. The Intervention Sniper doing 360 no-scopes. Oh my god, I can't. I can hear the montages right now. You can hear the montages? Hit. Oh yeah. The knight throws You need me. to clip that right there, Roderick, that last section. It's like, Josh can't shoot again. <laughs> This That's is why Roderick worked so hard on anything. the the targeting system. You know yeah, what? Like yeah. Game. Maybe it's great just about being on the stream. It's okay, Josh. We know you're better than this. I yeah. I actually hopefully I am. <laughs> it's okay. I'm stream shy. I'm this stream. is a safe place. Again, I just think it's so great that that shield is no longer just a body block for enemy waves, <laughs> but actually has a tactical right. use. And dodge. Oh. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, they go for the dodge roll. Do a, do a dodge do a roll. roll. Yeah. Hey, Josh, I do have a recommendation. When you put down traps, you might want to put them next to the enemy. Therefore, you know, they get stuck. Shut up, Roger. Pro tips. Pro tips. I'm just giving some advice. Pro, 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 yeah. pro tips. Don't suck. <laughs> Have you tried Have not you tried? at the game? That sounds the like good getting good is getting good. <laughs> uh, was, it, was it Clippy? Microsoft. Yep. Yeah, the, what was that? What, what version of Windows was that? Was that XP? Uh, M -E. M -E. Okay. I had the low level format my hard drive to get Windows ME off. That's how awful oh God. Clippy and Windows ME were. <laughs> oh God, I remember And that. for the my programming bros out there, uh, if you use Swift, it basically has a Clippy. Oh, does it? That, like, I thought I heard, saw you tried to use a normal for loop. Do you, are you stupid and want to use an Apple for loop? Like, <laughs> what's yes, the difference? Yes, Apple Clippy. <laughs> I do. I do want to use a, an Apple for loop. Uh, the the difference go. is just enough for them to be able to copyright it as a proprietary language. 
But enough about how the operating system that doesn't run Solar Purge sucks. Back to how great <laughs> Hollow Chamber is. Yes. Boom. Reloading. You know, I skipped uh, a couple floors there. I had some cash, so I spent it. Objective. I had some disposable income, so I used it. And now we are on floor 23. Let's see Reloading. if this is a problem. Ow. That's a deep floor. <laughs> Ow. That, tick that, that tickled me, though. That didn't really do a whole lot. Oh, that's the end of the... Oh. Okay, let's see. How bad does this hurt? Why aren't you gonna use Slayer? What are you scared? What are you scared? <laughs> Fine, I'll go and drop this one. We'll go back and get the other one. Where is that, by Josh, the way? Are you the type of person to look for the looter mission 100% of the time because mm -hmm. you want not war? Because I want not war. Actually, no, I just I, I, I see something I green. I see it. something green. Yeah, the first one I see, I usually grab. Let's go. Let's go on a hunt, though. Player. Let's go hunt the. Uh, scared. Yeah. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it's all fun and games until Colonel Sanders shows up as a as a secret boss. No rip dabs and everything. Chicken. Uh, still waiting for the licensing deal. <laughs> <laughs> It would all fall apart because Mitsubishi owns KFC in Japan, so uh, what? they'd be like, yeah. I'm sorry, Nazuna has to leave the game. You can't. We're like, what? It's legally distinct. It's a different name and everything. Boom. I like the snappiness of this uh, wolf. So I guess you eat, like, you eat chicken in your car? I, is, is that... Yeah, if you philosophy? if you if you ate Japanese KFC in a Mitsubishi car, you would have maximum vertical integration. <laughs> <laughs> on Christmas, on Christmas for maximum on Christmas. For, for for maximum KFC KFC -ing. for maximum fried Kentucky. Yeah, to eat your chicken, your fried chicken. Well, because fried fried chicken is the official Christmas dish. Mhm. Mm and unless you're in like the top five percent of income earners, your fried chicken is probably coming from KFC. It's what's for dinner. Paid for by the National Mitsubishi Chicken Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> But see that that's a good lore segue because that really is the universe oh, of solar purge uh it, it really is paid for by the the interstellar uh nazana chicken lobby so you mean to tell me there's like an entire conglomerate out there in solar purge that just specializes in fried chicken well, no. The <laughs> fried chicken is just one of a uh, hundred thousand businesses that Nazana has completely vertically integrated into itself. Aaron's eating chicken currently. It's good. And good <laughs> it's for you. good. It's good. And it's sponsored by Nazana. Maybe sponsored. not if it's fried chicken, fried, but uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't want Nazana's lawyers on me, so I'll neither confirm nor deny if fried chicken is good or bad for you. This is starting to turn into a Chick-fil-A ad. No one can deny Place that. Place purge. Eat more chicken. <laughs> I'll take that corporate sponsor, too. That's, that's fine. <laughs> You'll take that corporate sponsor, too. <laughs> Their chicken is really good. <laughs> yeah, no one, no one can deny that. <laughs> what other place can you say, hey, I want to... I want... Chicken patty, a pickle, and a bun. I'm my pleasure. Just... Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> That's the only part that makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, I know you don't mean it. I know, don't so, say it. I, well, no, again, that's, it, I feel like it puts me in the universe of Solar Purge. 
You this don't is, this is the galaxy that our heroes are escaping to go fight aliens in across the uh, Laniaka Supercluster. <laughs> There's no Chick fil A in the universe. Sucks. Let's go to the know? other side. <laughs> Let's see if it's better. Let's see if they have better chicken. No nozzle in the chicken, no, no nothing. <laughs> no nothing. Aaron's right, it's a cookbook. The Solar Purge cookbook. Like the third best episode of the Twilight Zone. Can't kill spiders. For real, it's a really spiders. it's a really good one. Good makeup effects. That that gave me nightmares for years when I was a little kid. The al the alien makeup? That was really, really good. Roderick, this uh, floor layout is mean. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, it would called... dodge roll. Oh. So, <laughs> I can actually explain. Where are they gonna go? Let's see. Here. Using Come the power of chat GPT. There they go. Oh, I'm just kidding. Using the power. <laughs> Using the power of chat GPT. Friendship and. And copy. And copy. Well, maybe Duck Pepper. And lore wise, Juggernaut knows all of those things. They're all logged in his memory. But he's not paying attention because he's he's watching a different anime and movie and reading the book based on that at the same time. <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about? Uh how the Juggernaut is a freaking nerd. Yeah, the, the, the ultimate nerd, maybe. It's gonna be a challenge when we start uh, uh, casting the Juggernaut. We're gonna have to really find just the right nerd. Oh, he got caught in my shit! Yes! Oh, yeah! That's how you want to do it. That's the best yeah, brag. Yeah. Oh, get red. The, the shield worked and let you yeah. shoot from inside of it and totally it messed up the boss that yeah. was caught on the. Yeah! That's how you do it. That's textbook level 3 shield. As we like to say in the gaming industry, Working as intended. <laughs> it's not a bug it's if it's a feature. It's but not, not really, no, that is good tech though. Like, Although maybe we'll though. adopt Aaron's new slang and just call it cookbook. <laughs> cookbook. That's cookbook. That's that's not textbook, that's cookbook. Stop trying to make cookbook a thing. <laughs> hmm. Why? Okay. okay. <laughs> I guess it reloads fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens hate it when you move. <laughs> How fast you want to go, Josh? Oh my God. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. All right. That's when uh, uh, Aztec puts a lawsuit against Nazuna. Like, excuse me, I believe you've made too good of a rocket launcher. <laughs> you need to make it weaker. Just a little bit. All right, let's try some functions, and then I think we'll try another character here. Um, which should one should we one. go for? You said war? War. Oh. Yeah. What is it good for? <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, not when it's the best upgrade. It's no, good for everything. The best... <laughs> I was talking. You, you, we were singing the song. <laughs> no, I, I, I know yeah. we were singing the song. <laughs> All these younger but folks that song are is, like, is what, what are they own talking about? They're in the Nazuna group, and so they're, they're issuing a lawsuit. Yeah. Just go watch that movie called Rush Hour. It's in there. Yes, please. You got projectiles. Yo, I got projectiles. Have you really went through eight floors of of murder tasticity? That's that's not uh, a word. Well, I skipped floors. Oh, you skipped. Look at my cash. 
I had a hundred thousand at one point. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I was looking. I was like, "Holy smokes!" Down to like two point yeah. seven k. But the god on the left-hand side of the Japanese temple gate would legit be proud of your grenade launcher. That's uh... <laughs> on the right side. Left-hand side. Left. Left-hand side. Well, Eugene. okay, your right, our left. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. What is that? Oh. Well, hey, I'm trying to look at weapons, you dirtbag. <laughs> we thought it was Oluru Knight, but apparently it's Nazana Knight. <laughs> those, those purples do not mess around. That's, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Have we ever That's... mentioned that I mean, the Japanese are good at advertising. Good. What can you what can you say? <laughs> what can you say? And the purple just looks awesome. Yeah, once those purples start dropping, you know you've you've entered a very dangerous place. Is this banned by NATO? Uh, uh the good the good news is that NATO no longer exists uh, <laughs> in this universe. <laughs> yep. Chotka and Olerun put a stop to that. Well, I mean, even if they did exist in this universe, what are they gonna do? Bring the North Atlantic all the way to Nova Genesis? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's Earth's like... resources were exhausted in the 2140s, and this is 2243, so... Earth doesn't really have much to say anymore. You got nothing. Well, that's just where the stock exchange that runs human space is located. Objective. It's all fun and games until it's Pro tip to the future to of humanity, don't let the stock exchange take over the government like they did in Solar Purge. <laughs> Pro tip. Oh, there it is. Lava! You found the hidden cache. Yeah. It was in the corner. In the That's corner. where I lose a lot of stuff. Oh my god, special and support? Reloading. Oh man. Alright, chat, should I keep yeah, the shotgun? That, that's, that's not, not as intended. Do what now? That is, that is the crux of our future update. To, oh, it's is, is that? Oh no, it's Nazana. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. No, it's Nazana. Oh, I was, I was asking, like, should I keep the should I keep the Nazana shotgun, the full auto, or should we do this assault rifle here? Because it does bonus. Depends on how uh, many skills you want to use. Well, it has special plus and support plus, so. I don't uh, think. Actually, well, you know what? We don't have special. So Those all these special, things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. maybe not, maybe not. That was an easy There's too many offensive, uh... Right skills. now. Right now. I like how this, but For uh, certain players, that would be a, a, a really key pickup. <laughs> Roderick, is the war, uh, function or boon, is that still a donut icon? <laughs> uh, yes. So, aside from the simple fact that they have place it, it also is a testament to how humans will do anything and everything when food is involved. Donuts are <laughs> one of the greatest foods, so... Mmm, donut. I've seen time and time again, a single donut has changed the fate of many individuals. So, you know, all I'm saying is... If I feel like everyone in game dev party, understands what that means on a really visceral level. <laughs> Sometimes one donut makes all the difference. Well, do you remember the end of semester, like, pizza parties and how you could probably, like, create several factions within one classroom just from how much pizza is available? It's like, oh, you only got two boxes? Well, it looks like the, uh, the class roster is about to have a drastic change within a very short amount of time. Only the strong seen, survive, Roderick. I've seen ten get eating it. Ten boxes of pizza get eaten without every minutes. Full auto, quick reload. 
Yeah, donuts are less likely to do that. For whatever reason, donuts, people take longer to savor the donut than they do pizza. Yeah. I don't know why that why that is exactly. I'm not a food uh, psychologist, but uh, I don't know. You can just <laughs> swallow the pizza, savor the donut. So, which is strange because donuts are sweet, pizza is savory. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth the First. Your language sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Here, come this way, you silly bug. There you go. Oh. oh man, oh, yeah, I like this. Oh my god, they're dropping left and right. You know, Josh, with all those enemies Sigma. firing at you, it looked like you were under fire. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Chad, we have to stop this. <laughs> Roderick's telling terrible jokes. Again. No, oh, look at look at all that. That being said, if we ever want to show off the other characters, you are eventually gonna have to draw your juggernaut and run to yeah. a boss. Okay. I say after you beat this boss, let's uh. The next one. Okay. Let's move to the next one. After what all, that's what Aaron's come to see. What character has four S's? And a whole bunch of uh, tricks, and by tricks I mean deadly oppression, but with style. Oh my God. Lord. Well, that would have to be Ariel Sill, the Chimera. <laughs> I, I was kind of thinking Ted Cruz, but that works too. No, no. Well, okay, the, the Zodiac Killer. Yeah, okay. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> They're both murderers, but you have to remember that in a Zrenan society, murder is totally okay as long as you're using the government approved weapons. <laughs> and that just makes it okay. This literally sounds like a new installment of the Purge movie, which is why it's called Solar Purge. Not affiliated. Yet. No. Actually, even the bad ah. purge movies are pretty good, so I wouldn't I wouldn't mind being associated with them. The bad purge movies? I haven't seen any of them. About what? half of them are bad, <laughs> but even the bad ones are, are are pretty good. And you can't say that about other ones, other like horror movie stuff. So that's uh. No, don't kill me! Oh my god! No. My favorite one was the third one for just for how absurd it was compared to the first two. There's a good one that just came out that's in quote unquote Texas, which is so obviously like like Eastern California. <laughs> is are those for those of us who are from Texas? Texas it's, uh, the not not since the X Files movie where there were mountains north of Dallas has there been such a ridiculous uh, depiction of Texas. <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, them mountain ranges north of Dallas, they be tough, man. The traffic there is crazy. Yeah, o Oklahoma known for its mountain <laughs> range. Because <laughs> it's so damn flat here. Ooh, hey, look at there. Chatka McPalamia. Agility and Brawler. It's all fun and games until the Master Sentry starts speaking Russian. Fun linguistic uh, point. McPalamia actually means flaming sword because uh, yes. the Chotka Collective are basically Russian Orthodox Amish. <laughs> Flaming sword. Whoosh. That was a good run. That was fun. You had some good weapons. I had some <laughs> maybe a little OP weapons, but they were very fun. Very, very fun. Well, everybody, I'm going to go back and switch screens here, and we're going to pull out another character. Roderick, what character are we going to do next? I had to step away to uh, gather the... <laughs> this is like there's a God. long delay. But, uh, <laughs> Where'd you go? But the, que the question of the day is, how fast do you want to go? How fast you do know? I want to go? How yeah. I think you want to go at... Warp speed. I warp speed. <laughs> ludic, ludic. You know? we want, I want to go plaid. 
<laughs> I want to go plaid. You know, I think that's a good mark. That, that's a good, good thing to mark down. With a lot of death. Pick the assassin. The assassin. Yes. The walking cheat code. As sponsored by Aaron. Did you say assassin? See if you got the skills to pay the bills. Skills to pay the bills. Okay, we're switching over here. As Aaron is quick to point out, regular peasants who try to pick up Assassin cannot, cannot succeed. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's so see. <laughs> Aaron is Principal Skinner from that episode of Senses where he looks down and he just says, pathetic. As she sits at the top 1% of Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, assassin isn't good? All you have no, to do is No, it's the peasants who are wrong. <laughs> yeah. New update. Uh, nerfed Aaron. <laughs> that's that's the update. If you can call nerfed working on the Mediterranean coast, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Only when Aaron is playing assassin, increase. Uh, the skill cooldown timer about 300 percent 300 300 percent oh my god really on normal difficulty wow. on brutal, that's not mm. yeah i have to agree with aaron on this one he's perfect just the way just the way he is and uh here he is the one and only assassin we'll have to call in aaron special to judge the assassin cosplay contest two years from now when uh, Solar Purge wins Game of the Year. <laughs> Third time champion. <laughs> I have a joke about Assassin that I don't know if I can say here, uh, but Aaron knows it, I think. Has to do with the name. But, you know, he's got it going on. Y'all can sort that out later in the <laughs> hotel bar. <laughs> the conversations that are had in hotel. Yeah, We've right. got 100,000 credits here. Think of the name of the character, Aaron, and I'll, you can piece it together. Woo! Especially the first half of the name. Sabre Disc. Oh, yeah, yeah. So to to oh. point out in a, in a purely uh, technical matter, even though Josh ran out of points and couldn't equip it, well, wow, I, um, I thought, for some yeah. reason, I thought this was a, a skill upgrade, but that's the floor. <laughs> I was like, where's my skill points? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that's the floor. <laughs> we, uh, Oops. <laughs> we, we, we have a new icon for the Saber Disc, Assassin's yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, signature skill. Right here. That actually now looks like the Saber Disc instead of uh, an axe. Throwing axe. That was an accident. Oh, nice. I like that one. Nice. Subtle. I like that. Like assassin. <laughs> so. that, that, that's what you use in the Isrenan court, you know? Those, those sort of subtle digs. Barry Linden stuff. Right. So here's a question, Ben. What's the judicial system like uh, for the Isrenan people? Uh, Aside from the whole how, legal How famous is your family? Okay, it's great. Remember so that family like name humanity. comes first in Azrenan cultures, so uh, if you're on the list, you're good. If you're not, well, we've got some questions. So, basically, like every oh, human civilization that's ever existed. They just don't well, say that. Well, ex except uh, more. More, more, more like if that civilization was Mesopotamia or Egypt, because that's a very short list of what 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 your names what your names are on, right? <laughs> but the House of Ariel has been instrumental uh, since before the Azrena were ever an interstellar civilization. Like they they helped one one group conquer the whole planet so they're in like flynn permanently except for the dirty secret of their latest son being a dangerous mercenary dedicated to tearing the aristocracy down 
And so his his twin sister has a lot of awkward, you know, mean girls kind of moments she has to deal with in the Azrenan court. Dude, this anime sounds tight. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Netflix, we're open to uh, Thank you we're for being so anime. To talking to you. Uh, I have a, I have a pages upon pages of, of backstory. Happy to talk with you. And by the way, it's a it's it's a powerful woman who's doing stuff again. Netflix, give me a call. <laughs> and it needs to have the obligatory. Extremely long name that seems like an essay paragraph. That's also a requirement nowadays. I don't keep up on all the nonsense. Sorry, Netflix. I mean all of the super important drama. It's apparently been proven that the longer the title of your show, the more interested people will be in it. Because... That's fascinating, because in Hollywood, the shorter the title is, the more likely it is to get greenlit. That just goes to show you the difference in the industry. Very true. It's always been a thing. Very true. Future generations will look back on us and shake their heads for so many reasons. Not least of which is, why did they title their dramas long <laughs> in the East and short in the West? What, what, what was what going is? on? What is? Yeah, uh, if you're if you're not fitting the synopsis of your show into the title, then I mean, what are you doing? What are you? Doing? I don't know. A one-word character description based on a character people knew from a previous franchise 50 years ago. Oh, sorry, Disney. I don't want to work with you anyway. That's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's been decided. I feel like I'm being judged by uh, Dragon, Dragon God, and Broken Nico. I love it. They're, they're waiting for you to fail. I, they're waiting yeah, for they, me to, <laughs> to really <laughs> screw this up. They just stop. They just stop. Like, oh my God! They're why, why, why? Why would he do that? He's just he's, Josh, he's you don't butchering know a character. To be like, fair, Josh, I haven't I haven't played assassin with controller in a while. I usually <laughs> play assassin with the uh, keyboard and mouse. Engineer, Juggernaut, Striker. I usually play the controller, but Assassin. Have some rockets. You have a rocket. You have a rocket. You like purple? Fire purple. <laughs> That's a development joke. That is a development joke. Did I spill the beans or no? I don't understand. We probably but, uh, we we've mentioned on a stream before, haven't we? Yeah, we've talked. We I think almost every stream. Probably we every about stream. Fire purples. Fire uh, <laughs> it's 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 the it's the greatest thing. Like, it's. I don't it's know if it's still there anymore. I'm not sure. I hope it is. I hope it never got deprecated. Uh, if anything, it may have been deprecated. I'm sorry, Matt. It was. <laughs> See, I I didn't aim. <laughs> you gotta do that. I let go of the so, right. I let go of the right stick for two seconds it. so I could. Uh, I'm get not away. good at aiming. That's why I play striker. Oh, see, wow, how oh, he moved though. Classic bad at assassin defense. Assassin is probably the hardest class to play. I I, I would agree. With but I think I he rewards uh, high-level play, especially high-level aim. Yes. If you can aim with Assassin. I can hear Aaron just taking notes. 
the yeah. Force of her pen oh, look at all paper. that stuff he dropped. He just like boom, money. <laughs> yeah, you just have to believe. He's made of money. He might actually be made. <laughs> he made of money. Damn, nothing but money. A gold encrusted mech warden. <laughs> Very impractical, <laughs> but it, it it'll stand out. Wait, what? Oh, I was expecting That's to hold it down. Rapid fire. That's some rapid fire. Okay. Test, test it out. Test it out real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 Blow boom. your load. Blow <laughs> by load. Striker up there in the corner with her hands on her hips, going. Ah! There's no bugs on this map. Stop How dare you? Bugs. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> What is that one? No, we we, we gotta we gotta use this one. Okay, Olerun takes the cake on this map, I think. You know what, Josh? Hmm. That shotgun that you had with double rapid fire, that's the epitome of you have a test at seven and it's six fifty eight and you're in a boss fight and you're just like, alright. Easy. Empty entire like inventory of ammo on the boss and it's just dead. Right. You just have to believe and you'll do good with Assassin. Oh, this is a two. Yeah, ah, okay. That sounds like a setup point. waiting to happen. It's like, alright, I believe. And then Spider Queen just drops down and hits you with the two-piece no biscuit. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. It's like that Futurama episode. Or Bender said, if you don't believe in Robo Santa, he can't hurt you. <laughs> He's the father of all lies. <laughs> One hell of a shotgun, that's for sure. <laughs> oh man. The sound of the Olerun shotgun is awesome. We worked really hard on it. Yes, that, that was uh, one of the com uh, composited sounds, wasn't it? It's got like a kick, and then there's that little bit of an energy flare at the end. And I was like, go go to Striker's thing and, and find out what sound we use. Yeah, what sound for the plasma? Because the, the... Oh, wrong button. Josh was like, grumble, grumble. I was like, it's all going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Ben and his fucking sound effects again. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of anal about sound effects, too. It's... It, 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 it's just not, you know when it's right, you know it's not right, you know? Yeah. This is right. This feels good. So you're saying that Herbert sound pack that I downloaded won't make the bill? <laughs> I'll go see about a refund. Which one? Herbert from uh, Family Guy. <laughs> really? Oh. Frank Herbert, yes. Brian Herbert, no. <laughs> hey, Chris. That's the sound effect that plays every time you fire the weapon. Hey, 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 Chris. <laughs> I got a shotgun for you. Aaron so is kind of age. I knew a guy in uh, high school who took the original Doom. And modded all the sounds to where uh, stuff like that would happen, where like the Kaka Demon would be like, My eye! My eye! My contact! My contact. <laughs> and then just casually distribute that in random forums. Somebody thinks they're just getting a, a normal installation of Doom. And then a few minutes later. Back then, nobody assumed what they were getting on the internet was normal. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some very I, bizarre things. Really, you, you were obviously, like, you built a computer and put it on the internet to seek out the weird and strange. So that's what you, you expected when, yeah. you, when you grabbed stuff. I, I'd say that it's still like that to this day. Well, Especially except that any, anybody can go into an AT&T store and get a machine that puts them on the internet. <laughs> you used to have to really work for it. 
<laughs> you only get to play multiplayer games because you deserve it. You, you figured yeah, it you out. You can go on the internet with your fridge. One of my weirdest computer memories from when I was still measuring my age in single digits. Oh, that was and, awesome. uh, I couldn't get past a puzzle in a game. And like three days later, I'd ask my mom about it. She like stopped cooking dinner and looked up and went, Bell book and candle! What? Like, oh, wait, you wait, know, yeah, I... my reaction was the same. She's like, you need a bell and a book and a candle and that'll stop the ghost. Okay. It's from an old movie. I was like, how old? When I was a little girl, like, I can't even believe I remember it. <laughs> sure, mom. I was like, damn, that's an old joke. But okay, I'll go get my bell and book and candle. And sure enough, that stopped the ghost. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Like when you play Mist for the first time. What does any of this mean? I've since seen the movie Bill Book and Candle. I was not impressed. <laughs> a spooks movie? Uh, more a 1950s rom com. Okay. Yeah, not not great. If only this silly shotgun had like 200 rounds in it, so I could just. <laughs> right, I'm gonna spam this thing. Yeah, we need to look at a, a an exotic that has that exact loadout, but more more ammo in the, the clip. I mean the one that exists. But does it have double double rapid fire? Uh I'm talking two rapid fires and one extended mag. So <laughs> those exact perks? No, but it has a perk that does the exact same thing and increases damage as the mag gets lower. Does literally everything you ask for and adds the extra damage all the more. Yeah, but not double extended. The dozen attorneys come come to say with their hands on their <laughs> hips. <laughs> you claimed that it was the same, but in fact it doesn't do double fast fire. <laughs> we just call it the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun. Not a shotgun, it is the shotgun. Super shotgun. This is my boomstick. That, that was, uh, which came first, Ben, as our uh, film historian? Uh, Evil, was it, it was Evil Shotgun. Dead? Doom 2. Doom 2 came before Evil Dead. Uh, yeah. Well, you're talking about Army of Darkness with this. Well, I, Army of Dar well, I meant Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, Ar Army of Darkness is like 1995, 96. Doom, Doom pre predates it. I've seen some wads uh, <laughs> for the super shotgun. It has like 16 barrels, and he's like <laughs> putting all those shells and goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't think there's ever been a video game weapon that immediately connected with its whole audience as completely as the Super Shotgun did. Because you would just melt people. You'd hit. You, it, it was slow to reload, and you only had two shots, right? It's a double barrel. Right, but yeah. like it again, unless you were straight up fighting like a, a cyber demon, any other enemy would die instantly as long as you could aim correctly. And that was... Reloading. That was a bold new innovation. You know, I just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> he agrees. He's just jamming. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then he takes away. Hey mom, look, I'm dead. <laughs> Time to make a gun called Fire Purples. Fire Purples. 
why let it just be the main man? I completely forgot that I was doing the cash mission. <laughs> I'm just killing things. I just love the shotgun so much. I really want to keep this shotgun. I don't ever want to lose it. Like, Well, you should put it in your, uh, in your vault. vault. This is a good time to talk about the vault on our stream. So, how can I use the vault, Mr. Roger? That's a good question, Mr. Joshua. So, in order to use a vault, especially in Hollow Chamber, you do have to be in the starting room. However, you'll be able to open up your flyout menu and manage your vault from there. Such as, like, the weapons you collect, so on and so forth. Uh, and it's really simple. You just click a couple buttons, swap things in and out of inventory, bada boom, bada bing, you're good to go. Not only that, though, during gameplay, you can send weapons that drop on the ground to your vault. There's a button prompt for that, and you click it, it sends it on up, and you can go retreat from the vault once you get back to the safe room. But you gotta make it back. You gotta make it back, yeah. This I don't is where there's gonna be a problem goes. making it back with this shotgun, but. Through a chain link fence. Just. <laughs> Juggernaut so tanky. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't believe in dying. <laughs> Death is not a public variable. <laughs> Playgrounds and uh, space mining prisons. Don't go too close to the drills. Don't play over there. You remember what happened to Johnny last week? Poor Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to imagine that at one point. OSHA tried that making so standards weird. in the future, and then literally every corporation ever was just like, nah. Star Wars does not follow OSHA standards. <laughs> in fact, I would argue that Star Wars goes out of its way to make sure OSHA like, has no purpose. Did you whatsoever. ever see a safety reeling in an Imperial base? No. <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. Right. Like, the architect of those things probably did put those railings in the plane. We met the architect, it was Mads Milkinson. <laughs> yes. He was hoping someone of them would fall off, you know. He was and like, do oh my Wilhelm god, screen. I just want to wear this short cape and talk with the Dutch accent. Oh no. Sigma. Yeah, I'm going to take the shotgun. Whew, that was a long floor. Massive experience games, reduce credit. Beat. Reloading! <laughs> you hear the trick that's very far like a kill. Reloading! There we go. Reloading! 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 I really like the, the mark for death, the range on there. Hey everybody, let's let's dash into the rocket plastic. <laughs> the Josh is coming up with the actual strats. You know, they expect you to avoid. I don't know if it's called strats. This is playing dumb. Also, let me. Can I get big air? Oh, okay. I hope not. We were <laughs> to, prevent, to prevent you getting big air. <laughs> I'd want to if I could. You know, just right there on the. No, okay. I can probably with. Oh, I missed. Over here. Oh my god, I missed my money. Aaron, I shouldn't have that on B. I have to let go of the the, the right stick. A lot of skill usage comes down to what there button you're. That me, I should have put that on. Uh, yeah. Should have moved through an extra. Should have, would have, could have. Yeah, I should have put it on uh, the bumper. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's also made out of money. All the mechs in Solar Purge are made out of money. That's 
There I'm, goes another 100, 100 million credits. <laughs> and That's what the sweet said. Much. Yeah. All right, let's see. Slug shotgun, extended mag, full auto. Weak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not... You you have the perfect shotgun, uh, so... I don't um, ever yeah, want to, yeah. like... I. Even when the 1.0 comes out, I don't ever want to lose a skill. <laughs> it has to stay. It's so good. <laughs> Roderick, I demand this shotgun. I demand this shotgun. Permanently. Permanently. <laughs> All rune and Scepter. I'm going to even take screenshots of it. We'll do it for Josh. But I mean, Josh, there's always that one particular shotgun mm -hmm. that does this. Yes. I'm not going to spoil it. No. Don't despoil. Okay. So. In fact, I think that shotgun might be available. Uh, ah, uh, you had an opportunity to do. Uh, okay. No. Well, wait. That was at the. That was at the beginning of the map. You had the opportunity to buy something. Yeah, I had to. But no, I didn't. I didn't show that off. This one. Okay. Maybe another stream. Next. Next stream, we can. We can show that off. It's over no, no, on the no, other side. No. Of... no. Don't. Don't show it at all. Don't, don't show it at all. It all. Okay. Uh, it's just. It's yeah. just a thought that came to my mind. Don't well. show it. Uh, what I would suggest is now that you have four SP, that you you rebuild your loadout, do one more run, and then we move on to show off our our biggest update. Part of this update, rather. Yeah. Part of the update. Yeah. All right. Let's do some of these things. It is the update. Instead of knives. Where we go to floor. With their cool new icon. Yep. Let's, uh, let's grab another. Well, it's not enough, is it? I'm poor. It's never enough. It's never enough. That's okay. I might be able to level that one up there. So we've got the spinny discs, otherwise known as the saber disc. Saber disc. We have the severing blade, which has a little bit of a different AoE. You might see some uh, skills with different AoEs here, so... Especially for like um, the the striker, which I think we talked about in the patch notes. Mm -hmm. Striker and engineer, we worked really hard on a lot of their new. Yep. Their new AOEs. Oh, I got distracted with skills, Roderick, and I didn't vault uh, that weapon. I'll do that when I uh, when we get to the floor. You saying I shouldn't? <laughs> No, I say you shoulda. You shoulda. You woulda and you coulda. You woulda and coulda. But you shouldn't. It's too good. Man, no. It's too good. Did you I actually mean, take a picture of it? Technically, I can vault it here, but I just can't get back to it. Well, right. I'll, I'm OBSing this stream, so we'll have a lot of pictures. Of it. And I mean, for what it's worth, Josh, we could always, you know, make you a curated version and possibly hide <laughs> it somewhere in the game. That's true. Josh is the shot. best gun. <laughs> Josh is throwing knife. It's like, wait, this ain't a knife. What? I remember uh, B Mikes and I had a shotgun back in the day. I don't know if oh. I can say that on stream either. <laughs> oh, I remember it. <laughs> so fun fact about that shotgun. That yeah. is what inspired me to make the other Oh, the other version. Yeah, okay. Me. There you go. So it could it could share the same name is what you're saying? Um, no, it's not allowed to share the same name. No, I'm just saying, like... <laughs> it's not allowed to share the same name. <laughs> Can it share the same name? Ben's like, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's definitely not named that. I'm I thinking about the Steam store in Germany, Japan, Australia. Like, oh, no. all, all you had to say was no. Australia. All you had to not say even was if Australia. it was censored? I guess not. Then it's I don't not think funny anymore. It's not Australia funny anymore. <laughs> Surely there's a way if we can do a region thing where it'll only show up here. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're playing in a country that doesn't like this word. This, these these words together. <laughs> I 
You know, I'm this. amazed at how many times Josh can see a barrel, shoot it, and be within proximity of said barrel, yeah. potentially causing himself to take damage. It's just yeah. like, it's a neural it's thing. It's play, it's, it, you know, you're playing with fire in a way. I, I like blowing up barrels. Assuming. Me too. Apparently, That's why I'm Ben like blowing up barrels. <laughs> yeah. I miss see? blowing up barrels when a second player is in game. Uh, Let's see. Oh, they they triggered it that time. Go saber disc, go. Let's get a train going. There we go. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. Go saber disc, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> Yeah, go over there. Oh! Oh my god, it's awesome. I, need to I can't wait for the Macho Man Randy Savage mod for the jungle. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! On balance, off yes. balance. Aaron, Listen. you're on point with Xena Warrior Princess. <laughs> Gonna get me to the boiling point. Lucy Lawless is a cultural icon. Whoa! And since Aaron knows me, she knows that I mean that not just in an ironic way, but also in a deeply personal way. <laughs> All the saber discs, all the time. Disc. Do you have low energy? Are you tired at the end of the day? Talk to your doctor about saber discs. You want to make more credits? Sure, we all do. <laughs> I really thought Josh was going to say, talk to your doctor about Sudafed team. <laughs> Sudafed. <laughs> oh, pro strats. <laughs> oh, he got up. <laughs> <laughs> Silly bio form. My rotation. <laughs> I'm trying to move to the next section here, but she keeps spawning. Oh my god. You robots don't scare me. What's the worst they could do? That one over there solved the halting problem. Oh dear God! <laughs> we gotta get out of here before one of these things kills, kills Guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a last name. My character's not important enough. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. jackpot! Oh, Wait for man. you to take advantage of the fact that you're just killing dudes standing still. Yeah, I'm trying to get this thing out. Oh, don't go over there. I'm trying to. Okay. Blood pack. Is this uh, starts with the letter E and ends with exotic, right? Uh, yes, that's one way to say it, but yeah, it's an exotic. <laughs> it is the golden ticket. And instead of you going into the menu to look at what the golden ticket does, I can say it here just to refresh you and let the newer viewers know. Uh, this is an exotic burst rifle, and it has a perk called. Uh, I believe Reckoning, Retribution, don't, don't take me on the first name. but I can see what it does. You don't run out of ammo once you get down to the last three bullets. Instead, it will consume your health to keep the firing going, and it increases the damage of the yeah, weapon you want, so. On top of that, every time you get a kill, it heals you. Uh, but be careful. Uh, <laughs> uh, it also comes with a lifetime supply of killing yourself. Yeah, it does a lot of damage to you, but you can keep it. Yeah. Ah. 
We need a perk that functions in a similar way, but for shields, uh, for the yet unreleased uh, weapons manufacturer. Uh, it's funny that you mention that, Dan. It's, it's a very interesting. That's good to know that it's of interest. <laughs> We're thinking. Mines are connected. Brain cells, they have meshed together. Now we just need to convince Unreal to cooperate with <laughs> our There's brain cells. So many That's the real bugbear, isn't it? The ideas, the ingenuity, not, not difficult. Convincing Unreal Engine that this is something that can <laughs> exist worthwhile. within our. Well, not even what? worthwhile. I don't understand. Unreal is like, does this you really You mean have crash? To okay. <laughs> Your idea worked, but I did not. <laughs> Valid argument, sir. Uh, I would like to rebuttal with crash. <laughs> Pro strat, trigger the bots for them to explode. Steal the like, XP. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted the default value? Okay, here you go. No, I won't let you say it. You know what would really uh, deal with this crowd of enemies? Is a rocket strike. From a, a, a not, not this character. <laughs> yes. The same, the same rocket strike that took down NATO once and for all. I'm just saying that it's probably way. about time to. We need to go to our next one here. Start thinking about a rocket strike. Mm -hmm. We gotta. Uh, uh, here. You're 95 percent of the way there, yeah. so we're real close. Whoa! All the saber discs. I might have to do a mission. Sometimes I just get so caught up with, with murdering everything that's on screen. It's like, hey, there's missions that will uh, make this process go a little faster. Aaron's like, peasant. Peasant. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of... Huh? I really need to get some... Oh wow, that was cool. Yeah, we gotta use all this footage, especially if it's looking all right in this game. Is it lagging at all? It's not for me. It's really smooth. I mean, on not one. on my second monitor, but okay. we'll have to see what it looks like when it, when it all clears up. I feel like Streamlabs is lying to me. Tell me something new. Well, it lied about the audio earlier. It was connected. I switched it to the default and it's like that the one it was supposed to be. Dumb program. Hey what don't don't call the programs dumb in front of our face because they, they it, well we're in a program right now, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god, the amount of enemies. <laughs> hey Josh. I, this reminds me of a song that was in a certain movie without getting in trouble. Drop from above, that would that would clear him out. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Aaron's like, no, don't switch to strike. Man, don't rocking. choose the coward class. Don't choose the coward's. <laughs> that that implies that Aaron has like a tier list at her house of like classes you should play in Solar Purge for maximum respect. Highest is assassin, and then below uh, respect is striker. In Solar far Purge in 2, assassin's twin sister's voice actress is absolutely Aaron. <laughs> Peasant. <laughs> Peasants. Peasants. All right. Get him. There we go. Still not firing fast enough. More firing. Oh, you mean the blood pack. It's compared to the, uh... Well, why'd you give up that shotgun? 
Because I saw an exotic. I saw a pretty color pin. Sometimes the legendary is better than an exotic because of random rolls. Borderlands. Blood Pact also is a weapon that is best used on a class that can continuously regenerate their own health. And then you can just maximize the damage. I.e. not assassin. I.e. <laughs> not right. assassin. If you want an exotic that pairs well with assassin, then you have to use redacted. It gives a lot of uh, bonus potential to his mark for death and allows for him to cycle through kills even faster. It's a shame that didn't drop for Mr. Carter. Well, live in mind. Oh no. Oh. Uh, and now he's, yep. The, the learning part, I can see it, but the living, um, that's about to expire. Woo! I actually am trying here, so if I die, that's all on me. That's not a, oh, you won the game. Just like an, an infamous musician once said, I'm fighting for my life. That's why I say every time I go to target. <laughs> He's, his targeting is so good. Watch how he targets when I move back and forth. Believe in the assassin like Pixie does. Target too fast. Free caliber. Last time somebody mentioned Pixie Dust to me, they were wearing a Supreme t shirt. So I can trust <laughs> them. Supreme! A new, new assassin skin. I'm old enough to remember when that was called Izod. <laughs> Iz <laughs> That's pretty funny. Same thing, different name. I mean that the Dominion Republic is Hold on. Oh, it, it does! Reloading! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 Not in this store. <laughs> Not in this store. My palms are sweaty. Knees that means knees. that, uh. It's a good sign. That was a good. That was a good floor. Alrighty. Whoops, sorry about the mic there. Whew. It's hard to talk and pay attention to that stuff. I'm using all of my brain power. Alright. <laughs> ben? <laughs> well, I... Yeah. R rather than talk about the Vryuzudu, uh, you need to... It's about time to wind this down and uh, and look into the next plan another character. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna switch over here. Are we gonna do the other uh, hollow chamber? Or do we want to try? I think it's about time ne to go into campaign. Next our, yeah, next on our campaign list is campaign time. That was a lot of fun. Which one was uh, more interesting to watch, Juggernaut or, or Assassin? I believe that's a question for our chat there. I enjoy watching both. Well, watching I see they're both biased in the chat, the though. They're both biased in the chat because I know what they're going to say. See? That's, that was the, what I expected. Well, I'll be contrarian and say that your performance with the Juggernaut really exemplifies your skill set with that character. <laughs> the Juggernaut, well, the Assassin, that was definitely and most indeed the gameplay of all time. That was the most gameplay of all time. The most gameplay of all time? Yep. That was indeed the most gameplay. Like I said earlier, Assassin I usually do keyboard and mouse with. So I can hit those shots. Those See, lines. I'm a simple man. I use engineer. <laughs> why? Why use my? Why? 
fight the battles when I can summon things to fight for me, and I just play, you know, it's like playing an RTS game when you're when you're the engineer. Right. Summon the units, do the thing. I have the same philosophy, but I just summon rockets. <laughs> Rockets. Engineer second best. All right, Aaron. Aaron does does have some. She has she has good taste. Aaron, you need to weigh in on our uh, community Discord to let everybody know your correct opinions on the character classes. <laughs> we have this a cool new biased. well, Roderick laughs, but we have a cool new section. Uh. Uh, where people can talk about their favorite characters and why they're so good. That's right. Would you like to tell the chat what that section is called? Nice segue. We have a new forum section in the community Discord server for forums. And I believe this one is just called Character Classes right now. Is that correct, Ben? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if y'all check that out, tell us what you're playing, tell us what your strats are. Your best strategies. We are loading into a little bit further on in the campaign with Striker here. And our reasoning behind that, of course, is that uh, Striker has received a massive update, not just cosmetic, and that we finally got rid of her placeholder uh, materials, but also uh, a lot of changes to her skills with way better uh, AoE um, uh, brackets, I guess you'd call them, to let you know where your skill is going to activate. Right. So I am on... And I should probably turn off that cheat section, shouldn't I? <laughs> yes. He's Stop cheating. cheating! Stop cheating! Yeah, 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 okay. Being as the overlords of the game, <laughs> as the overlord. we have the powers that be to do many things, but we promise all gameplay is of legitimate standing. Hi, just the, have, the highest of quality, yeah. We just accelerate our, you know, Tickets. But I'm looking at For the map, Josh, and I'm thinking you need to probably upgrade your skills just a little bit. We need to go a little bit more. It's time to go even further beyond. I think that your, uh, especially your your barrage and plasma blast. And there we ticket. go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. So yeah, barrage maxed out, stim pack maxed out, and plasma blast, and I will show off what the plasma blast looks like. Woohoo! That's a weird angle to look at it. Yes, but very you know, cool. Yeah. One thing for players to note, people who've been playing the game for a while, is that we're on the extreme difficulty, which in the past has not had a lot of differentiation between uh, Brutal and itself. But now, uh, thanks to Roderick's new updates, uh, it really feels unique. And especially in this level, where we're going to see some unique uh, enemy uh, spawns yep. attached to the extreme difficulty. Yeah, so just like Ben said, the difficulty tiers have received a retuning to set them in line with our current sandbox. Um, as you're about to see, that uh, Striker has received some updates to her kit. Uh, and most notably some damage in certain areas and as we evolve our player sandbox and come up with new skills abilities and ways to play we want to ensure that the challenge is there for the players to use those skills so we have been retuning our difficulty across the board to ensure that players can really get enjoyment out of it at whatever difficulty they choose and in the future we plan on having other uh, modifiers that have that are effective by the difficulties, such as increased experience gains at higher difficulties uh, and things of similar nature. So what you're going to see here in this particular run is just how uh, extreme <laughs> it gets. However, I think our striker is up to the challenge after those recent changes. What do y'all think? 
Yeah, this is very effective. Yeah, I would definitely agree. The, uh, <laughs> the, 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 well, the updates to enemies uh, drastically increases their damage output, especially on the higher difficulties. And uh, people who've read the patch notes already will know that uh, um, uh, on the extreme difficulty, you're looking at a, 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 a huge bonus in enemy output, damage output. Right. But Stryker specifically has a unique skill set in that she excels at killing things before they get the chance to touch her. So if you think about it, we're playing a giant game of chicken. Everything is doing a lot of damage, and first one to hit zero is the loser. The best so, chicken wins. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, Josh. No pressure. Yeah. I'm still sweating from the, the last boss fight. That was really sweaty. Trying to uh, not kill myself by firing that exotic too many times. Let's see how much damage they do. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay, because I have a plasma blast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get melted. Although you see that the, uh, the elite enemies managed to survive that. Yes, they did. But they're still dead. That's because you got two skills. That... <laughs> that's true. Boots are highly effective against small bugs. Unless you live in Australia, then I wouldn't change it. <laughs> or, whatever, or whatever, or whatever planet takes place. Where does Starship Troopers take place? What is that planet called? Florida. Planet. Uh, Clendathu. Clendathu. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Who are those? What are those? Oh, those are my neighbors at 3 a.m. I always wanted to go there. Don't you know there is no more Zagama Beach? <laughs> Aaron with the fantastic Nancy Sinatra song reference. Boots are made for walking and squishing bugs. Sorry, but five dollars is all my mama gave me to spend. <laughs> the poses. You gotta make a cool pose when you're turned into a statue. Alright, we're entering the threshold. Infected toads. Nasty. Why are they infected? No. You know? If I didn't oh, know yeah, that. that's why. <laughs> I would say that he just got wrecked. Yeah, he did. Probably about time for some rockets. Yeah. I noticed that. Oh! He appears to be healing. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Ah! Your acid just tickles me. Oh, well, that rid of my shield. Ow! I'm sorry, I offended you. <laughs> I that, offended that's you. For you. <laughs> there were frogs there. There were frogs there. Yeah, and our uh, our little friendly uh, ancient person observing with his poorly manicured hands. What happened to your fingers, man? Eagle, All right, here we it. go. Uh, ben, Roderick, or chat. Point. Should we go to the right or should we go to the left first? We have two paths that opened up. Striker seems like the shoot first, ask questions. Shoot first, ever. solve puzzles so later. The right, right hand side is probably better for Striker, yeah. <laughs> shoot first, solve puzzles later. I'd be like, Madison, don't you want to go to the left? He's like, no. Why don't you go to the left and I'll meet you later? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and one came out of <laughs> That's the beauty of the new rocket skill. Yeah, maxed out. Carpet bombing for viewer players. Now, if I stand here, especially with these guys, like, this, these are going to shred me. Yeah, see, that hurts. I think there's so many enemies on screen there, like, yeah, we're not going to stand here. 
Oh, I just barely. Come on, hand it to me. Hand it to me. It's okay. Because I got a stem pack. You do not have the plasma shot. Yeah. <laughs> not in this update. Better damage output on both sides. I have a feeling it's going to get really nice. While Belial is like taking notes. <laughs> right down, down, right down. Better ways to destroy yeah. flesh creatures. Oh, hey. You stay back in there. Evil spice. Hey, we walls. Right. They say the hills have eyes, well, the walls have spikes. Spikes pushed it into here with me. <laughs> I thought it there. Oh, I, I, I thought it jumped too for a second. I'm not anywhere near the player. Maybe I should jump in. <laughs> that was funny. Well, and by this point in the game, we were really reaching the threshold where, uh, if you're not using your skills regularly, you're in big trouble because there's no weapon loadout in the world. Right. Especially on extreme, when you get enter into the mid twenties that can keep you alive. So, like, if I just use weapons right here, look how fast I get shredded. Like, I'm about to die. Yeah. So use the stem pack and don't die. Yeah. Step one. Miraculous comeback. And uh, people who've been you playing the game a lot will also notice how few uh, health drops are dropping. Even people who've been watching the stream from the get-go, uh, we were playing on hard instead of extreme. Uh, the, the health drop uh, ratio has, or uh, chance has been halved. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you get down to 2.5%, that that means that in, uh, what, 100, 100 enemy kills, you're only getting two or three that, that will drop health. Yeah, about, that's, that's about correct. To be fair, though, and, you know, just to be clear, <laughs> there is a scaler that you can't increases. get up here. So, as there is a... Oh, man, he just left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. Yeah. Got the high ground. Where, where'd he go? <laughs> he just well, injected himself out of the mouth. We just bounced out of the, out of the <laughs> hole. <level>. <clears throat> that was funny. You gotta clip that, Roger. The game will detect whenever uh, you haven't received a drop oh. and it will slowly increase the chance. But you have to work towards that, and uh, it doesn't come cheap. And by cheap, I mean you're going to have to do a lot of slaying. So Josh is playing the perfect class for that. Uh, her whole shtick is wiping out entire waves of enemies as fast as possible like that. So it's a really nice balance for her. Oh, are you serious? I got knocked off. Oh, that's okay. They're serious, dude. Super serious. <laughs> Still effective in two floors above. The real enemy. Josh used Mirage. It's super effective. <laughs> that part where you're walking up the stairs and you fall the way down to the first floor. And you're like, well, I still get up. I'm going to get up to the 15th floor. The elevator and the Try that again. A skill issue. Skill or will? Yes. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Open sesame. Dodge. The cube. The all spark. What are y'all doing? Ray into space, Satan. I go, I swear, that looks like my neighbor's at three in the morning. 
I won't elaborate further. Ooh, here's one of the new AOEs. Oh, easy. The updated hey, Mountain Force. Medastia. Yes. Ooh. Hey Josh, if I had known any better, I'd say you were in some danger right now. That's I'm about in danger. Impact. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if I stay here. But you, you could use this impact. Man. <laughs> Bill pull. How do you activate the pylon if it has blood on it? Um, you wipe it down and then you activate it. <laughs> you wipe it down and you activate it. Would it be safe to lick the blood off and then hit it? Oh, I would say no. I would say no. <laughs> Why does my tongue taste like that? If you were a wealthy teenager living on Oterion long after the, the colonial project was a success, maybe. But uh, <laughs> not not if you're a mercenary trying to fight for your life. I wonder what this tastes like. like. Why does my why does my tongue taste like cesium two thirty eight? Tastes a little funky. Dripping water. It's like raining, but we're inside. Activate the thing. Creepy. The right eye. But his left eye. But it was on my right, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Creepy either way. Creepy either way. My right, his left eye. I'm sure Hollywood would be happy to tell us the difference between which eye is cre creepier than the other, but, uh... Which eye is creepier, or are they equally as creepy? They're not. For, for I a don't know. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Alright, here we go. To the other side. Oh, there's his it's name. because when set Toro Cyrus into multiple pieces, uh, including his eyeballs, uh, one was the sun and one was the moon. So I'm going to ask a question, and I'm going to get a very quick answer. Is it safe to touch this water? Like, what, is, is, no. the glow, is, is, <laughs> is it the like, is, is it even water? <laughs> it is. It is, but it's it's a uh, one of those uh, cubes you've seen before has broken inside of it, and that same energy has now electrocuted the water. So you really, really do not want to be in the water. Don't drink the water. Oh, too late. <laughs> Should I hide the stream <laughs> so I solve this puzzle and don't show what the answer is? <laughs> no, it's fine. No, we want to see you. We want to see you uh, yeah. fail spectacularly. There's no way you know what the answer. He's solving it the slow way, everybody. That's okay. Is it that one? Or is it this one? There you go. You shall not pass. Hello, hello. How are you? You're a little bit taller than the last one I saw. It's all funny games until they actually start walking. Until they start looking at you. They're gonna wake up like those Chozo statues. Also, what happened to your chest cavity, man? Uh, that would be a spoiler. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's, uh, prognosis, not good. Diagnosis, not good. Whee! You know all those uh, pop stars who talk about how you ate my heart? Oh. Like that. Oh, good. Okay. I guess it wouldn't be a game if I could ride this all the way to that platform, right? Just like the argument when people were like, why didn't why didn't Frodo and Sam just take the Eagles all the way to Mordor? <laughs> yeah, you you gotta do the work. You gotta put uh... in the work because it's a book. <laughs> Otherwise there's no character. <laughs> Gandalf's like, man, we got 
300 more pages to fill. <laughs> Fill up on some mint, grab some coffee, let's go. <laughs> and here's the death room. Or not. Death corridor. But not when you have rockets and a plasma. Well, I spoke too soon. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, I don't. I was just, I was just, okay. Stim pack. I did. Wait a minute, I fought one of you earlier. What are you doing in here? You're in the wrong room. You're a mini boss. Uh, mini bosses have their own room, right? right? Upper manual. Uh, well, when you play on extreme, you can That's expect true. extreme uh, circumstances. That is true. I would like to imagine that the thing that's running this place said, Hey Craig, we kind of need you in, uh, we need you in the back rooms for a bit. Yeah, this whole front room business you got going on ain't cutting from you to the back. A good speed. That's like when I worked at GameStop and we took a smoke break and we smoked a whole cigar. Sorry, all those people who came into my GameStop. It's before most of you Twitch what? viewers were born, so don't <laughs> split. Sorry that your mom came into my GameStop and had a hard time. <laughs> And what game was she looking for? Uh, as she told me, Banjo Tooie, <laughs> without explaining anything else. Banjo Tooie. I was like, oh, you mean, yeah, okay, I, uh, let me let me check on that. For the N64, maybe? We're all out. 64 all out. Or, or GameCube. Oh, he looks a little bit angry. A little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. A little, okay. Ow. Yeah, he's a little oh, here's angry. Here's a, a cool update for players who've been playing for a while. You'll notice that uh, uh, his health bar is now segmented into different parts, and that when he does a powerful attack, he's going to have a sort of vapor trail behind his arm to let you know what's going to happen and where. Get out of that radius. Yeah. That was gonna be easy. Stim be, be stim packing. <laughs> he be packing. He be stim packing. And don't I... take his swipe for granted either. Remember, we're on extreme. You will PC up quick. Yeah, don't take Ooh. anything for granted on extreme, I think is the the best advice. Also maybe take out that sprint. Yeah. So there's also a health pack. It'll stop healing it. One good thing about these segmented health bars uh, for, for people playing at home Reloading. is that once you get the any boss past that, uh, that, 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 that marker point, threshold. they can't be, yeah, that, that can't be healed over that threshold, which was a big problem previously, especially on the Jungle Guardian. Where, where he would be able to heal back up to full health. And it was never our intention. It was always our intention to make him horribly difficult, but never for him to be impossible, uh, which was what, what was happening to a lot of people. And now that uh, uh, his health... <laughs> that thing almost killed me. Behind. Oh. Well, it, it's... You heal up. You, you got a step back. Yeah, there we go. I remember there's a little bit of a delay. Oh no, I dodged the wrong time. There's a little bit of delay when I do something. <laughs> and y'all see it. But another good thing is previously when a player was dead, the boss would continue to heal during this period and now now he won't. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he packs a punch still. Oh my god. He never quit being badass. Oh, and we just, just uh, hit that threshold, didn't we, Roger? Yep. Yep. The AI threshold. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Now no, here comes Jason. <laughs> bad. Yeah, he's he's full aggro now, 100% of the time. Ooh. Beforehand, there was a failsafe in his system where if you dodge oh. long enough, <laughs> then 
he would get mad and no. do stuff like that. Yeah. That's two deaths for me. This is also the death screen. That's been a little bit updated. It says you know mission critical, but what it actually says is get good shot. Yeah, that's what it says. You have no many times how many times we've died on this boss how many while times? testing. How many, oh, no, have, how like, many times guys. I've died while testing this boss? With stuff like that too. Especially when you chatter and what well, well, yeah, see. Yeah, see I, I can't I can't play do. and talk. It's so hard. You're like holding court while you, you gotta stay away. See, Striker looked so overpowered, so overbearing, and then he shows up and he's like, hey, I subscribe to the... Uh, well, that's why when we were talking, Roderick gave his silent, like, I don't know if I approve of this change. Like, maybe she need to be nerfed. And I'm like, just let the Jungle Guardian let be the, the test. Like, and she, can't pass she's not, uh, the she's not disappointing. Than, uh, Maybe we should ask these guys over here. Who's doing better in this fight? Please tell me. Also, those things are really bad, too. Well, considering that the... the yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that's horror of what a rocket. Um, I mean, yeah. we think the Jungle Guardian will win all... Oh, disappointed. <laughs> too bad they're not here to watch. To be fair, though, Josh, Jungle Guardian is 4-1 against you. So you're saying and I'm brutal? With changes, it <laughs> New game plus in brutal, version. there's two or three of them. But remember, Josh, we have changes coming in a future version where uh, maybe 4-1 won't be a thing that can happen. That's true. Unless you unless you have been pretty good at the game up to this point. Right. But, you know, <gasps> maybe in the future, there's a point where the Jungle Guardian does win. But you know what that looks like? Like artifact. Retrieve the artifact. What I was gonna call it a calzone, but uh, a calzone. <laughs> we came all the way here for a space calzone. <laughs> Leave the money, take the calzone. Take the calzone. <laughs> you gotta have pizza in space. My my uh my controller sweaty after that too. It really is hard to pay attention on those higher difficulties and talk, especially on a stream. So you're saying you didn't want to run on Brutal? Maybe. Well, but that's gonna to have to be till next time, I think. Yeah. While we had intended to continue to do uh, more stuff after this, I think as close as we are to the the ending period, the best thing we should do now is maybe do some uh, screenshot uh, yeah. show offs or what's in development. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been working on a lot of neat stuff, and this is just a taste of some of those things. We actually have quite a few new maps, which some of them may look a little bit familiar for the campaign. They look like other hollow chambers, and some y'all haven't seen before at all. So I actually have those right here. I'm going to switch over my screens. Yeah, I'm especially excited about the stuff people have never, ever yeah. seen before. I've got them right here. Is this the one where we go to Bikini Bottom? I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> to you probably don't want to wear a bikini on this planet. Um... I I would wear a bikini on either of the planets. Wait a minute, one. that's not a planet. <laughs> even even those Tuskino girls probably don't want to wear wear a bikini on. <laughs> Maybe wearing a bikini while holding that Olorun weapon is a potentially Maybe. favorable yeah. idea. You want to tell us about these new Olorun weapons, Ben? Yeah. So, uh, Olorun is our latest weapons manufacturer to be released. You, you got a good taste of them today during the stream. Yes, I did. Um, they are, uh, from the, in lore, from before the world of Solar Purge, where they fought the human as Renan War. These were one of the most powerful megacorporations because they were interested in mining. And uh, everything that they do using a proprietary electromagnetic pulse system takes regular ammunition and as soon as it's fired from the weapon, converts it into plasma. Which is why you see that cool blue, yeah, uh, blue projectiles. Uh, yep. projectile effect coming out of there. 
Now, it doesn't do any different damage from a normal ballistic projectile, but uh, it'll it'll really make a, a difference in a, a multiplayer scenario where you can tell who's got an Olerin weapon and who, who doesn't. Absolutely. And they have a really unique set of perks, which we saw, too. <laughs> yes. The uh, their drop. perks are specifically based around maximizing the utility of the individual weapon. So, for for example, a, a DMR that's through Olerun is based around standing still and making shots, which is what exactly what you would want to do with a DMR. Right. While their SMG is based around uh, moving quickly around the enemy and taking pot shots, which is exactly what you would want to do with that weapon. Um, mm -hmm. And no other weapon manufacturer has that kind of perk library based around uh, the the most overpowered possible perks you could get with that individual weapon. And uh, we, we have a future weapon update that is coming that will rebalance uh, a lot of the perk systems, but you can count on Olerun staying where it is being... Uh, if if you've got an Olerun weapon, it is the best at what it does in its uh, range and uh, damage classification, which other other stuff won't be able to count on. Obviously, like a wolf weapon will excel in pure damage. Uh, Kadru is a great grab bag, but you never know what you're gonna get. Um, you know, J Jong is based around. Uh, uh, D direct damage but not necessarily maximum damage and Olerun is all about the quote unquote smart perks for every single every single weapon they play into the play uh, style of that weapon exactly sure. like what if, we start you, with if, that was an Olerun SMG I believe for some of those hollow chamber runs yes. right yeah and if you see an Olerun drop uh, unless it directly contradicts your play style it is a valuable pickup at least worth picking up and seeing if you if that worked with your play style. Mm -hmm. I, I, I so far Olerun is probably one of my favorite. And that's probably just because of that last shotgun that we used, but <laughs> <laughs> that that shotgun that was shotgun. monstrous. Yes, and, it uh... was. <laughs> it's a little strong. It's a little strong, but yeah, it's super fun to play with. And they look awesome and they have a very distinct sound to them as well, because they're more more of an energy based mm -hmm. uh weapon system so yeah that's as well as the distinct uh visual design yeah. uh you'll notice that uh all, all of them have that kind of like black and white sleek design with the orange uh glowing emissive uh uh secondary colors so they're easier to spot mm -hmm. when they drop when you're holding yeah when you too. when when you see somebody with an olerun weapon you'll know what you'll know what's going on and you know that they mean serious business they mean business. So yeah, that is so currently in this update five zero dot five dot three. Did you want to say something else, Ben, about these? No, just uh, I think you were about to say the same thing. Just okay. that uh, uh, c currently it's hollow chamber only. Oh yes. For now. For but now. But look forward to it in a future update where you're going to be able to see them all the time. Anywhere, everywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. For the low, low cost of some RNG. <laughs> I need my RNG. All right, this next one here. What is that? Is that is that Michigan? <laughs> uh, nah, that is Boston that Dallas British from crew. is that Texas from 2021? <laughs> I thought that was Boston. It could be. But yes, this but, is an upcoming planet. Planet Redacted, I think, is the name of the planet. Yeah, Planet Redacted. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Some of those letters might actually be in the name. Which ones? That's for us to know and for you to, you to find, find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have this new quote-unquote ice planet. Probably some ice, probably some snow. It's cold. I say it's very cold. <laughs> Extremely cold. It's extremely yeah, I, cold. I would imagine that's not a that's not a nice. Uh, those those of you who've been looking at the map in the uh, the main menu, 
have noticed that one planet is way, way far away from the sun, and that is what you're looking at here. Um, it's a bit cold, but in fact, what you're looking at is late spring, or early summer. This you really like don't want to be here go when to it gets vacation. really, really cold. <laughs> the Neptune Pluto of Nova Genesis. Great any time yep. of the year. <laughs> if you like snowboarding. Yeah, if you like <laughs> Taking the average trip to Europa. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. It's a little bit chilly here. Very some very different gameplay. Different gameplay, new enemies. And uh, some really interesting story developments in the campaign. Definitely some mystery, you know. Yes. There's always mysteries to be hid in the snow. That's very true. I know I've mentioned this before in streams when we were talking about Oterion, but uh, for sure this planet is where the story of Solar Purge really kicks into high gear. Things start adding up. You'll definitely want to be warm on this planet. Yeah, bring a jacket. Bring a jacket. Maybe a, a thermonuclear generator. Mm -hmm. Got to stay warm. And find your what's mom told you to wear a hat. Keep your ears warm. Listen to her. <laughs> Especially when you're on alien ice planets. <laughs> now that's yes. some good advice. Don't think that those headphones synced to your game console are good enough. You need. You need a real hat. You need a real hat. You need I will toboggan. say this, though. <laughs> if you're carrying around a Samsung device, then I'll keep you warm enough for it. <laughs> nice and toasty. <laughs> Don't count on battery acid to keep you warm here. Don't uh... <laughs> the best kind of acid. Battery acid. Don't get, don't get caught in a blizzard. <laughs> battery acid is your only warmth. <laughs> That's a real six of one, half a dozen of another kind of uh, <laughs> scenario. <laughs> that would be a minor inconvenience. Very unfortunate at that. Very unfortunate, yes. But yeah, this uh, planet, Redacted, uh, will hopefully be coming in the next couple of uh, big updates. Yeah, knock on wood. We're, yeah, knock uh, on wood. I would, I, I would say for those of you who are thinking about it, unless... Uh, um, uh, esoteric terms, probably autumn. Yeah, some, by the time it actually autumn, starts yeah. to get cold outside, expect to expect to see some some cold cold weather solar purge planets. So this is one of two planets that's in the works, and there's one another two. one. Yes, we got two more planets. We got this planet. I don't remember who worked on this. Forget her name. I think she was here in the chat. Oh. She may just be still in here in the chat. Nah, Sharon worked on this. She might. Uh, <laughs> Sharon. She might appear with some. Uh, uh, yeah. I thought it was gonna be explicitive, explicatives, but instead it's yeah. Th there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon God would like to know your location. <laughs> So she can send an airstrike. She can send an airstrike. Nah, that's not that's not that's not Dragon God. She's go just gonna bring the assassin. You'll never know if she's there. But yeah, Stealthy she uh, she put more than a few hours in to uh, uh, create the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, lava planet that you see mm -hmm. in front of you here. Oh, I think uh, that's obviously there's still a few things to clean up uh, here and there. But uh, we're uh, we're gonna fill those those gaps in, and you will see that hopefully sooner rather than later. One one of the great uh, kind of difficult decisions we're dealing with here internally is when when the fourth campaign planet is ready before the third campaign planet. What is the appropriate way to move forward? Um, should should players get an opportunity to play there in a way that doesn't save their progress? Um, 
or should we completely hold that off until until people are are able to play the the planet that that happens before that chronologically yeah yeah chronologically story, in yeah. campaign um but however things shake out uh again don't feel free to jump in on our discord and tell us what you think uh what the what the best way forward is uh but regardless of of what happens we we've, we've still got to keep uh picking away at this and uh try and um get it get it a uh, uh, completely polished for final release yeah and these these campaign planets as we've learned <laughs> they take a long time and that's because there's a, a lot of people working on them very hard and uh lots of uh, amazing art goes into it shout out to brandon and um there's a lot of elements that have to kind of come together so by the time it gets to this stage, it's already gone through lots of iterations and play tests, and you can kind of see it in the background here. In our uh, development process, we we do blockouts. This you can see some of them here too. This like little castle piece, looking pieces here. Uh, the blockout stage where we go and kind of um, we kind of take these maps and we we build a layout. And we test on them, and uh, we set up enemy encounters, and uh, boss fights, mini boss fights, story elements, NPCs, things like that, to try and kind of emulate what the full version is going to look like. And we spend on those block out. We spend a long time on those um, testing, and then so this one is this particular map is one of two different maps that are in the works for this planet. And then the ice planet, I almost said the name right there, I caught myself. The other ice planet redacted. <laughs> um, that one also has several different sub uh, missions, sub levels inside of it as well. So, yeah, these were breaking up into more chunks, more of like how jungle, the jungle planet Oterion was broken up into several sub maps. Like, you know, we went through. Um, the inner sanctum we went through the guardian sanctum where the boss is we're kind of breaking up these other maps then in that fashion um so still going to be lots of things for you to find explore and uh lots of loot enemies to fight um but we really like that kind of expanses feel to them but we're releasing them one at a time that's what seems to have worked for us through early access and you know y'all been very awesome to Test those things and let us know your feedback and, you know, what we need to change and update. But uh, we're going to continue that process. But we do have lots of stuff in the works, um, as you can see here. And uh, we're looking forward to getting this stuff into y'all's hands so you can play it, try it out, let us know what you think. We still have more enemies to add. There's one or two more locations after these missions um, that we still need to build. And... We have more weapons, more exotics, more weapon manufacturers, more perks. There's lots of stuff in the pipeline. So it's taken us time to get here, but we are we are working very hard on it. Um, and of course, you all may have heard of heard us mention this before. Like we all kind of work the day jobs right now. So we we work as soon as the day job ends. We're working on this. Um, fortunately, summer sometimes winter we have a little bit more time. Um, but we we are working really as hard as we can on this stuff. So and yeah, like excited by to show the end it of off. Summer, yeah, uh, you're you're gonna see some major major updates in terms of uh, what's what what's available. Yeah, starting at zero point six, zero point seven. Yeah, lots also, of stuff in the pipeline. Also, I wanted to mention that if you are not on our Discord, you should be get uh most uh recent updates uh we post there before we go on twitter or any other place or steam let y'all know what's going on there every so often if get people you know play with the community whatnot we'd like to do more we'd like to start up this kind of streaming thing on a regular basis again um so we're figuring that out to uh do more community stuff game is on sale right now it's 15 percent off Definitely go try it if you want to try it with a, if you want to have a friend over. 
to play. You can play at couch co-op, up to four players. Um, or if you try through um, Steam's remote play, you can actually either host a game for a friend and they can join. They don't even have to own the game. Um, or the other way around, somebody has it and you'd like to try. Or heck, you can ask one of us in the chat and we can let you demo it sometime in the community server. Uh, there's lots of ways to, uh, to play Solar Purge. But um, yeah, lots of stuff in the works. Definitely check us out on Discord, discord.gg slash solar purge. Check out our website. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing more of these streams here in the future. And uh, thank you everybody for watching and hanging out with us. A lot of fun tonight, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of awesome moments. Hopefully we can get some good clips out of that. Good screenshots and video too. Any, any last things y'all wanna uh, mention, Ben or Roderick? Uh, just please, please keep tuning into future streams. Yeah, tune into future streams. And just like my co-hosts have said, uh, game development is always an arduous task. We work the day jobs, but we also come right home and put our blood, sweat, and tears into this yeah. adventure, into this experience. And so things usually come out rough the first time around, especially in early access. Uh, but we're committed to rounding out those edges and it's the feedback from the community that really helps drive it all because we're doing it for ourselves and the community we're doing it as you know a celebration of what it means to play games and create games so for, sure. for everyone that's watched yeah. for everyone has played our games for everyone in the discord been to our booths at public events thank you so much for taking the time to check out our game be a part of the experience we take your feedback very seriously and we really want to make a game that we can say was the worthwhile experience. So Absolutely. once again, thank you. It's been a blast. The stream's been a blast. Seeing Josh get rolled over by the juggernaut has been fantastic. <laughs> and Absolutely that's one way to close out a Friday. Hell of a way to end a Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. thank everybody for tuning in. And uh, stay tuned to the Discord. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good night, everybody. Good, good night, night Dallas. <laughs> good night, everybody.